Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Lerner. I'm a product manager here at UiPath, and I'm really excited to chat with you all about iXP. iXP is a new product that we've recently released in Premium, and it's a combination of our category-leading communication mining and document understanding capabilities. Within iXP, we have a new inference-first approach that focuses on unstructured and complex documents. This new experience uses both specialized and frontier models to increase the scope of what's possible with UiPath while reducing your time to value. With iXp, the user has all the features they need to quickly build models they can trust in production. Features like prediction citations, out-of-the-box performance metrics, and confidence scores. Excited to be here to show you how iXp helped with the loan application review process. We learned from demos earlier that understanding the financial profile of an applicant is critical. So I created an iXp project to extract details from brokerage statements, one of the documents we can receive in a loan application. Brokerage statements have some key elements to be aware of. They have information spread across different tables and charts, and that information is tied to a specific account the applicant has. So we need to make sure the portfolio details are grouped together by their account. On this sample, I can see some target information being highlighted for me already. The highlighted details show me the predictions for the fields that are defined in my taxonomy. I built this taxonomy to define what I wanted to process and understand from these brokerage statements. This is important because this taxonomy is part of what is used to query an LLM for predictions. I was able to define this taxonomy by creating a group of fields, which I've done for the top holdings tables, and then add instructions or context for certain fields using natural language. And this allows me to easily iterate on the prompt that is sent to the LLM. Once a user creates their taxonomy, they can generate predictions and start reviewing them. As I scroll through this document to review the predictions, I'll highlight a couple of features we have in iXp that we have found to enhance a user's experience. The first is tied to table extraction. What we've noticed during the preview is that querying an LLM directly generates great results, but on some table-heavy documents, we saw that our users weren't getting the level of accuracy they wanted for their production-grade use cases. So to improve performance, we added a multi-model approach to resolve some of the table extraction issues our users were facing. For those same table-heavy data sets, we saw as much as a 20-point increase in F1 score. The second feature I want to highlight is tied to these colorful rectangles you see here on your screen. LLMs do a great job providing us predictions, but they don't always provide the location or reference for where the prediction came from. And a prediction without a reference isn't that useful, especially during Human in the Loop. A business user validating a complex document like this without references is going to spend close to the same amount of time as they are if they were to manually review the document. And the value you get from the automation is severely impacted. So to combat this, we built into iXp a feature called attribution, which helps determine the specific piece of the document the prediction is associated with. This way, our users don't have to spend valuable time searching for where a prediction came from in the document. They can easily have that information available to them in the user experience. Once I've reviewed predictions in a project, iXp starts to provide me a project score. I've jumped to a different project where I've already annotated a few documents and gotten a project score. As a user, I can take a closer look at my model's performance visiting the measure page of my project. iXp provides me with info on how well my model is performing at a high level but I also can get insight as low as the field level so that I can see which field groups or fields are impacting my model's performance the most and then take action by modifying my taxonomy afterwards. Once I'm comfortable with the level of performance, I can publish the model and make it available to be integrated into my automations or available via API. This was a quick overview of iXp. We're really excited about it. If you'd like to learn more, we're hosting a one hour session during DevCon where we'll be diving a little bit further into the product capabilities. Thank you. Your iPath iXp will reach general availability in June, but already today it's in public preview, and if you want to use it productively, there's also a way to have an early adopter program in a sort of a controlled GA, so please start using iXp today.